Okay. Uh, I'm going to, you are going to have my presentation at a glance. So the presentation will talk about the definition of endangered language. We're also going to look at the classification of system of endangered language. Some of the shocking revelations about indigenous languages. We're also going to look at the word language hierarchy and the position of indigenous languages. Also, we're going to look at the role of Wikimedia in language documentation, presentation, and revitalization. What is an endangered language? A language is endangered when it has risk of falling out of use. Either it is speaker die out or shift to language to or shift to speaking other languages. And uh, most language laws will cause when the language has no more native speakers and becomes a dead language. We need to ask ourselves what percentage of the world language is endangered? According to the world, to the research made, we have over 3,000 endangered language exist across the globe. Unfortunately, 10% of this figure belongs to Africa. It shows that we are seriously have the edge of being taken out if our language, if we allow our language to go into extinction. So this presentation will show us how far we have gone, what we can do, and what um, series of Wikimedia projects are doing in preserving language across the globe. According to UNESCO, there is a system of there is a classification system of endangered languages, which include able, definitely endangered, severely endangered, critically endangered, and extinct. The language is vulnerable when most children speak the language but it may be restricted to certain domains. This is one of the key challenges we have in Africa. There are quite a number of our languages that are only spoken at home. Another type of classification system of endangered language is definitely endangered. In this case, children no longer learn the language as a mother tongue at home. So, oftentimes, 90% of the official languages in Africa are foreign language. So, most of the times, our children take so much time to learn the official language because it is the language of relevance to business and to other trans and also in education. So, in this case, most children do not focus on learning the indigenous language as an own language. Rather, they focus on the foreign languages. The third type of endangered language is severely endangered. In this case, the language is spoken by grandparents and older generation. And what happened in this case, when, this, when these older people die out, then the language went up. It's a key challenge to some to most of the indigenous languages in Africa. The fourth one is critically endangered. In this case, the youngest generation, youngest speakers are grandparents and the older ones. What does it imply? It means that once these older ones die, 
just like the severely endangered, they are gone. Then the last one is the extinct. In this case, no one is speaking the language. Those are the five types of classification given by the UNESCO. This subsection is going to look at some of the shocking revelations about indigenous languages. According to Batibo 2005, there are approximately 308 highly endangered African languages which sum up to 12.32% of all extant languages of the continent. And um, from what we have, we have 2,000 languages being spoken in Africa, and over 300 of these languages are severely endangered. It shows that if care is not taken, over 30% of our generation are, will be eroded in us if we do not take care of this language. The other shocking revelation is about the Igbo languages, Igbo language in Nigeria, West Africa. UNESCO stated in 2012 that the Igbo language will go into extinction by 2025. That's a wake-up call for people within this area. Third revelation is that about 97% of the world people speak about 4% of the world language. What does it imply? It means that the whole world focus on very few languages and we ignore the rest. And what does that imply? It means that by ignoring those languages, especially the indigenous languages, there will not be need for development in those languages and they are bound to die because people do not take care of them. So this is a major challenge facing all the indigenous languages across the globe. And also, researchers have also concluded that in less than 100 years, almost half of the languages known today will lose forever. That means that over 7,000 languages being spoken all over the world in the near in 100 years to come, 3,500 of those languages would not be found anymore. That is a major problem to us, and we need to start looking at how to preserve them. Last but not the least on this on this um, shocking revelation is about um, the Yankute language speaking in Kenya. It, it shows that um, roughly 4,000 people um, living around the Rift Valley in Kenya are, are the speakers of this language. At the moment, only seven people, which are 70 years of age, are the speakers that are left on this, on this um, I mean, speaking this language. This means that if someone of 70 years old is speaking a language, Let's assume that the person, the person might not live more than 30 years from today. It means in less than 30 years, this language will go into extinction. This is a major challenge, especially to Africa. Now, I'm going to show us some of the major works that have been done by Wikimedians through their projects to preserve language on Wikipedia. My first point of call is the Language Department Training Center, an LTDC, a, a program that was founded in 2004 by linguist graduate students at the University of Hawaii at Menua. The language focused on bringing together language experts and language graduates from this university. At the end of this session, these two people, the language expert and the language graduate, are brought together on a mentorship program to train the language expert on how to preserve their language. The project has been able to document over 130 uh, languages, or 110 languages, across over 130 documentation projects. The project focused on Wikipedia. 
it's more of editor tongues no, and the likes is on wikipedia and wikimedia even if it is a tool to the second project of focus is the wiki wiki is a non is a global non-profit community of over a thousand volunteers and it's also an affiliate of the wma what does wiki do? what they do is they bring together collation of audio visuals of all the language across the globe in a way to preserve them some of the outcomes of the Wikitongs project include in 2014, Wikitongs has supported grassroots language documentation in over 100 countries. They safeguarded materials in nearly 700 languages and supported language revitalization on three continents. In 2022, they will be launching language revitalization accelerator that will be funded and uh, over 75 new revitalization by 2025 their projects they focus on using wiki commons they use wikipedia and also the language sustainability toolkit which is used to gather and make available already documented languages to people that are of interest so also they're also looking at that this is in the pipeline language revitalization accelerator the last but not the least is the Nigerian language oral history documentation project. Um, this is an ongoing project by the Wikimedia Nigerian Foundation Inc. with support from Wikimedia Foundation for enriching the Wikimedia project with freely licensed audiovisual files documenting spoken languages and dialects in Nigeria. Um, coincidentally, Nigeria happened to be the largest country in Africa, with also the largest spoken language in Africa, with over 500 languages, which are sum up to over 25 percent of the whole languages in Africa. So this project um, focuses on documenting the audio visuals of this project. At the moment, 52 audio visuals have been produced and have been used in over 200 Wikipedia languages. The project focuses on wikipedia commons and the wiki tongues you can learn more about this project by the link shared in conclusion we could see that language represents the embodiment of value of people race nation and the entire world so when we allow language to die what it means is that we allow the people to die we allow such a race to die we allow such a nation to die and subsequently we allow the entire world to die so the role of wikipedia and its sister project cannot be overemphasized in the area of preservation documentation and revitalization of languages across the globe so i, I um i'm so glad that you take the patience to stay by me listen to what i have said so far in this language i'm going to wait for question from um, as many of my as many of the people that uh, i mean join this um session across the globe um i'll wait while i wait for the question and answer thank you all for joining شكرا للاستاذ اوريشولا على هذه القناه التي كانت قيمه في الحقيقه وكانت تحمل العديد من الانشغالات التي لابد ان نعيرها اهتمام كبير قبل ان اشير الى مداخله اخرى لابد ان اعود الى ملاحظات او بعض التعقيبات والاشارات للاستاذ باشوندا محمد فليتفضل Thank you, Kamel. Uh, I'm just uh, saying thank you very much, Shola, for your presentation. It's uh, very important. Uh, this is very important uh, to all participants uh, and uh, in danger. Uh,
subject is very wide and uh, we need to uh, give a more importance of this subject and uh, to start any project to protect uh, our heritage uh, around uh, especially Africa. Thank you.